So where are we? Welcome, we are here in Paris in the Marais, over at Neuf Rue Chapon. So if you guys are in the neighborhood, please pass by to see all of our beautiful stuff. First off, clearly we have Miss Diane Pernay's fragrance. <laughs> so you can come and sample and spray away. And then behind us, we have DSTM, Don't Shoot the Messenger, from Berlin. So we have body wear and lingerie. And then here, of course, we have Bejewels. This is the new collection entitled Harmonia. Harmonia meaning uh, how do we equalize our inside with our outside? How do we bring the mu make our own music? How do we make things equal? So what I've done is I've created a very simple collection just from one line. So this way. So what I did was then bend that single line into different shapes and came up with a single finger ring. And this is called a single cloud ring because of the negative space here. And then what I've done is then take this simple shape and develop it into an earring. So here you have a basic hoop. And then we have a larger version like this guy. But what's interesting about the collection, it's a convertible collection, meaning that you have one piece, but it can be worn in several ways. So this is my simple hoop, like this. But if I feel a little bit, I don't know, editorial, I twist him and he becomes an ear cuff. So I'm making earring cuffs. And then from there, we also clearly have the bracelet version, quite simple. And then what I'm thinking is if I have single finger, then I need to do double finger. So then I created La Reine of the collection. And this piece is 14 karat gold with a blue topaz and a green amethyst and two freshwater pearls, which sort of brings the idea of the sea and nature and humility and also your most vulnerable. When you're in water, that's your most creative space. So I wanted to bring that I guess vulnerability into the collection and then from here since it's double we come over here to the fashion collection this piece you can wear like this oops it's sort of tiny but you can wear it like this super simple then you can also take it and make it into an ear cuff voila so it goes from simple to editorial. And then we take this guy off and go into the triple finger ring. So this is two, but what you can do with this guy is flip him and it becomes three. And then what you do, since I'm developing different gemstones from La Reine, then I look at this and I make the same shape marquee, but now it becomes like this, and it just flips over. So you can wear it either here or here, or you can flip it and it will come here. So this shape is called a slit marquee because most of this collection and all of these thoughts are comprised and influenced by femininity and feminism, but in a delicate, communicative way. So what I've done, wow, it's gotten stuck in my own stuff, is take this triple finger ring and then turn it into an earring cuff, meaning the same thing as this one. It goes in the ear. That's an earring to stabilize, but then sits in and underneath your lobe. So it's almost, it looks sort of like a knuckle duster for the ear lobe. And then it's ambidextrous, so then you can take it and you put it on this side. Because with earrings, if you go like this, then you have to have the mirror image. This one, it's ambidextrous. So I like mixing fashion and function and making sure that this shape in and of itself is interesting enough and it reminds me of a wave. So all of these nature pieces are coming into play and another piece of nature is this little guy. This is my bug bolero. So as a simple earring, you wear it like this. 
But if you'd like, you can twist it. Oops. And wear it, hold on, little guy. And put him in your earlobe. So then he sits out like this. So it's almost like you have a crystal in your ear. And I do a lot of gem placement in between fingers, in the ear, lots of delicate and thoughtful gem positions. Here's another guy. This guy looks to me, it's sort of like a praying mantis or something. Mm -hmm. So it's once again, going back to nature, playing in nature, and then creating new things. And then we have the triple finger pendant that once you wear, you can also play with. So it's either a necklace or a chain ring. So all of these ideas are spawning from music, snake, snake tails. So you see here, the tip of this tail is reflected in all of the pieces because with one line, there's a finish. There's a beginning and an end. So I worked with our friend Ming. She's a 16 year old artist in New York and she embroidered all of our rose petals with some of our binding ideas for the collection. So we have also, for example, the vine. And the vine, I think, reminds me of this guy because it's continued. So we use this for all of our packaging with the new Harmonia collection. We have roses, clearly. And we should spray. What's your rose scent? It's called Love Affair. So why don't we sprinkle some love on here? Yeah, please do. Voila. Let's see how that works. And then it's a takeaway. Oh, Mario. <laughs> Mario's spider just hit the dust. Wait, let's put him back on there. We love you, Mario. Yes, Mario Salvucci. <laughs> And voila, now we have a scented rose. <laughs> Cute. Love it. Thanks, Diane. Very cool. Yeah, so my friend um, who owns Philip Lim, her 